Good morning. Good morning. Court here. All right, I'm going to do a quick roll up. Okay. We are going to do air signs right now. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And it's just, it's going to be brief. Okay. Because I did the, um, I did the lengthy upload on Sunday with what you were kind of looking at within the next month or so. Okay. So let's just see what we're looking at briefly. So let's do Libras. Let's do my little librarians. Hope you guys are having a great day. Okay. Libra, Libra, Libra. I'm not reading these reverse, but I'm taking them into consideration. Okay. We have the Ten of Pence. So we have somebody wants to come in and nurture something and make promises to you with the Two of Swords. Okay. Um, we have the Moon. So it's the unknown. And uh, somebody's holding back. I'm not quite sure. If it's you or the other person when it comes to this new start with the Ace of Pence. So somebody's definitely holding back on a new start, okay? Um, looks to be a Queen of Swords. Somebody who's taken no bullshit, um, not having it. Um, this person has obviously hurt you before or vice versa, okay? But now they want to step into the picture and make promises to you. And I don't know if there was somebody else in the picture before. But to me, it's the moon, so it's just, you know, hidden feelings, hidden motive, hidden something, okay? The queen of swords, I don't know if you're dealing, if this is just you guys absorbing this energy. Um, tell me about the moon. Tell me about the moon. Whoa. Whoa. So many. Moon, moon, moon. Moon energy. So it's the five of wands. It's you're conflicted on whether or not to take this new stat, cut this person out of your life, or, or accept this person into your life. Somebody definitely wants to come in and stabilize the foundation. Whatever happened um, is what's going on. But there's definitely conflict. To me, there was definitely another person. But this also talks about letting somebody go. Okay, um, out of love. Okay, like meaning like. You got so much love for this person if they're happier with somebody else and so be it. Be on your merry way. Okay. Um, type of situation. Any other messages? All right. So we got the seven of pence with the tower reverse. So to me, somebody's avoiding this conversation because somebody's just straight up exhausted. It's, you know, it's either that or just doesn't want to deal with this bullshit. Okay. They're definitely dealing somebody. You're definitely dealing with somebody who has probably a, a jealousy tendency. Um, for sure. Okay. Um, somebody who likes to play around. We got the four swords right here. This is, this is not healing. This is, this is like, yeah, you're dealing with somebody arrogant with the death card here too. All right. This is, this is ugly. This is an ugly situation. Um, when I got the tower and the death card right here, I mean, look at this. Uh, we can't get uglier than this. This is somebody who's trying to definitely dominate the situation with the King of Cups reversed. I mean, this is somebody who's arrogant. Look at this. This person's like, please me. Okay? And I say that because look at this four chalices. Look at where her hands are and stuff. Like, please me. Okay? Somebody who's very dominant, too. So, um, somebody's trying to avoid, avoid this conflict with somebody. So I, I'm not quite sure if this is you trying to avoid somebody or if I, somebody trying to avoid you. Definitely looks like there was somebody else in the picture at one point. You're definitely dealing with somebody who wants to dominate the situation or it's you guys. Um, it doesn't look like anybody wants to balance out the scales here. It just looks like confrontation. I, I think somebody loved left. I don't think you, you wanted to or this person did, okay? Um, but I think somebody's definitely sleeping with somebody else or definitely was. And you're literally considering what your next step is because somebody wants to come in and make promises, okay? Um, tell me about this Queen of Swords. So to me, this is you guys, you know. Yeah, you got the Knight of Swords, okay? Okay. Um, I'm trying not to read these reverse, but I'm taking them into consideration. 
So this is somebody who comes in swift, somebody quick. This is definitely somebody from your past too with a message. But this is a message you're not going to like. But to me, you're not even worried about it. I mean, look at this. Like, you're the queen. You can shut this down real quick. Okay. Um, and even if it's reversed, you know, you're, you're still you're still not having it. You're like, I, I got, like, I know how to take care of this. Like, I got, I got myself. I got myself. You know what I mean? Like, I got my own back. Like, I don't... I don't need to deal with that hasty shit or that you being hasty, okay? Tell me about the Ten of Pence. So this is either you making promises to somebody you broke promises to or, or somebody's coming at you, vice versa. So we got the Fool reversed with the Seven of Swords. So this person's coming back around towards you and they want a new stat, okay? But there was definitely deception, deceit, self-sabotage, manipulation, cheating, theft. There was something, okay? Um, and this person's coming back around. I think at one point you wanted a new start with this person, but it doesn't look like you do anymore. Tell me about the two of swords. So this is obviously a decision, you know, but you don't know what to decide. Let's figure out why. I mean, obviously we just clarified a whole bunch to, to know why, okay? Um, it's the hermit. You're either not talking to this person or you don't want to talk to this person, but this is like seclusion too, like soul searching. Like, you know, you're really considering there had to have been love. There was definitely emotion. There was definitely feelings, okay? let's. What's the moon? What's hidden? Hidden emotions, hidden agenda, hidden something, okay? That's too many. Tell me about them. You know, so you want this new stat, okay? Um, but we have the tower right here that flipped too with the knight of wands. So whatever this is, message, it's going to come in quick and it's going to disrupt you. Because this is a disruptive tower. And now you got two knights coming in swift. Okay. Um, so this person's going to want a new start. Are you? Okay. You got the ace of pence twice. But you're like, I, I don't know. This looks hash. Okay. Tell me about the tower. Um, to me, this tower is, is talking about this particular person. Okay, and with temperance here, you're either dealing with a Sag, but to me, this is, you know, healing. Like, I don't know if healing took place. Tell me about temperance, you know, balancing out the scales. Yeah, see, I don't know. To me, you might have even been dealing with a Capricorn, a Sag, because now we got something that was toxic. Okay, so now we got the devil coming out again. So to me, this is a toxic situation, possibly with a Sag. Okay, or it just talks about this incredible bond, but I don't know. Tell me about the devil. That doesn't look good to me. The temperance and the devil side by side, it's like you never healed from this. Okay, like this is something you didn't heal from. And I mean, I don't blame you. It looks like a shit show. But instead of like healing, I saw that. That was at the bottom of the deck. Instead of healing, you just cut it out. Okay. But this is slowly releasing, slowly healing. So you're getting there, okay? Or this is you refusing to let go, okay? Um, so this is a tough one, okay? You got a cherry at the bottom of the deck. To me, this is saying, you know, move forward, not, not backwards, okay? To me, with this reverse, is telling me somebody, you know, is, is not single, all right? I don't, you know, well, somebody doesn't have the confidence, but this, these knights coming in are pretty damn confident. So somebody to me is not single. Now we have two women right here with the magician and, and they're both reversed. We have, you know, queen of wands, queen of pence. There's definitely a, um, another woman here, two women, if not two men. Okay. So, but this person wants to come in and have a new start, but I don't see, I don't see any positivity out of this. I don't I don't see somebody changing their ways. I mean, you had the tower, the devil, the moon, okay, um, the five of wands, you had deception, okay, so I think for you guys to be, you know, the queen of pens right now, I mean, the queen of, so we have three women, so the queen of swords, this to me is just saying, don't, don't tolerate any bullshit, okay? Um, cause somebody to me, like, is, is this fake? Is it, you know, like they, they're going to come in and make promises of stability, but at the same time, 
you know, there, there was definitely a third person. I mean, I, I believe in giving people second chances if this has been a long time coming, but it still looks pretty toxic to me, okay? Um, it looks like you're, you're pretty exhausted. You don't want to deal with this. You don't want to battle it out. You don't even want to hear this person out, so that's on you. Looks like a, definitely a sticky situation for my Libra, so um, choose wisely, okay? Choose wisely, my little librarians. I love you. So, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So, let's do Gemini. Let's do my little gummy bears. My little gummy bears. Jumping here, there, and everywhere. My little gummy bears. My little gummy bears. Awfully sticky. I don't know if you're in a sticky situation. But these cards are effing sticky. Alright, the Knight of Swords popped out. This is one of those cards where it's watch your back. Okay. So. That can mean a lot of things though, okay? Because it's just the start. <laughs> it's just the start of the read. It doesn't even mean it's going to come out. See, that's way better. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Okay. So, we have the lovers with the five of chalices with the eight of swords. Okay. So, to me, this is, you know, making a decision when it comes to your past. And, but you have somebody new in front of you, but you're dwelling on the past. Okay. You feel stuck because this person from the past has probably cheated. And you just don't know what direction to go in because you have somebody in front of you too. Okay. And you know this person's in front of you. Um, you have the Nine of Pence, but to me, this Nine of Pence talks, talks about obsession, but it also talks about, you know, can we get there again? It also talks about a very incredible bond. Okay, we have the Nine of Wands right here, too. And again, it, it, it's, do we have this new start? Do we not? Okay. Um, got two nines in a row, too. 99. Um, any other messages? Got the Ace of Chalices. All right, so we got the Lovers and the Five of Cups. So like I said, you know, making a, de a decision, you're, you're feeling all up in your head. But we have somebody watching, or there was somebody watching, or you feel like there's still somebody in the picture. Okay, to me, this is a little bit of obsession. You know, somebody's cutting somebody's hair. You know, so instead of, you know, going that route, how about we just have an effing discussion? Okay. Um, Ace of Chalices just came out. <clears throat> Gemini, Gemini. So obviously, you know, the Ace of Pence, you know, so that's, that's two new stats. So now you got 99 and then 1-1, one, one, all right? Um, and then another 9, so you got three nines. All right, so this talks about a completion being wrapped up. It's the Nine of Chalices, okay? So it's, so you want this back because at one point this person made you happy. There is love for this person, but with the Ace of Pence being reversed, it's, do I have this new stat? Do I give this person my time? You know, it kind of looks, I know it's going to sound messed up right now, but it kind of looks divine because when I was cutting the deck, I saw a whole bunch of divine cards. Um, so, that's a tough one, okay? Let's clarify. But if, you know, I just saw the King of Cups with the world, you know, you do have to end stuff to have a brand new beginning. Um, I keep seeing all the very divine cards, destiny cards. But this, you know... It looks like an ugly situation. I don't know if there's still three people involved or there just was and this was the path and it's coming back around. Tell me about the lovers. But this is a decision. Somebody has a decision between two people right now. All right. We got the four of swords. You know, we're, we're healing. We're going, we're trying to heal. And tell me about the four of swords. But we're, we're kind of not, you know. And then we got the, another four of pens reverse where... We're slowly letting go. We're slowly healing. I mean, we are and we're not, okay? We're still holding on. You still need rest. So to me, the universe is saying, cut this shit out right now or ver make a very practical decision when it comes to this person because he is still having difficulties, okay, making this decision. And I don't blame you. Tell me about the Five of Cups. You know, so this speaks of sorrow, trying, you know, trying to heal, okay? And then we got trying to come out of it, the Six of Wands reverse, not... Not feeling victorious, not feeling like you can win this battle, okay? Um, 
So we're still trying to cope with this situation. And I think this person's coming back around or, you know, this is what's going on right now. You still got a lot of love. So to me, you're still deciding whether or not to deal with this. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. You're feeling trapped and making this decision, but it's mentally trapped, okay? Because of whatever this person, I want to say, holds on you or holds over you or vice versa. I'm telling you, it's something. So we have the Seven of Cups. It's confusion. But you're going to come out of it, but it's it's still straight up confusion on, on what to do, you know, what option to choose. Um, tell me about this Nine of Pence you know, hangman, so you're, you're still there, you're universally hung up right now, because you guys are in a tough scenario right now, my little gummy bears, tell me about this ace of chalices, you guys are in a very tough scenario, all right, it's the ten of cups reversed, all right, so at one point, this was your happy happy, this was fulfillment, but there was obviously interference, Me about this Ten of Cups. I kind of feel like this is, you're still in it, okay? So I kind of feel like this already happened. Because I don't really see anybody coming back around. Yeah, see, judgment reversed. Not, here's the deal, though. Not wanting to, to make a choice. So I don't know if this person came back around or not, or if you just cut them out, but it's it's very, you're having a very hard time moving on because there's love, but right now it's unrequited. It's, it's one-sided. It's not that type of love where let's work together and figure this out. I, I just, I don't see it. Not right this second. Tell me about the Ace of Pence. So the, this is a universal hang up. Okay. This is, they want you to change your perspective when it comes to something. Um, so we got the Empress with the four wands reversed, so not, not happy in the household, that's for damn sure, not, do I give this person my time, because, you know, the stability was already off, um, it, you're just, you're not happy in the household right now, or it's saying you need to put more time into you and to your household and start nurturing yourself, okay, um, I think you're dealing with somebody arrogant. King of Cups reversed, Lovers reversed, Ten of Pence, Seven of Swords. We keep going back and forth, not having enough strength to have this new stat, but I don't blame you because you're in a tough scenario right here. I don't, honestly, this looks like an ending. It looks like, or you have somebody else and you're trying to decide who, who makes me happier, you know? But it's like, if you got two people right now, I would just get off the merry-go-round, okay? Because the universe just hung your ass up for you to figure this out and if you're not happy in one situation get out of it it doesn't mean go straight into another one it means take time for yourself you had all these nines you had all these completions to have a brand new start so how about you have a brand new start with self-love self-fulfillment and build your confidence and stability back back to square one okay i know it's not easy but that's what they're saying okay um five of chalices tell me about the five of chalices I don't want to go backwards, but I just want to clarify real quick. Five of Chalices. All right. Yeah, it's your past here. It was just you're juggling too much, or this person's juggling too much. All right. So it looks like you got some decisions to make, and it, it's tough. But to me, the universe is saying, take care of you. You come first. Okay? Because... It looks like there's multiple people in this situation, and and if it doesn't talk about somebody else, I mean, it looks to me like there's somebody else, or there was, but this is just talking about a decision, and this is a very hard decision for you, so make sure when you make this choice, you're making the very best decision for you, okay? Regardless of a, this other person, this is your decision, not anybody else's, okay? So, I wish you luck. So, Aquarius. There's just a lot of confusion in the air right now, guys, with the whole back and forth and comic wrap-ups and new starts. And So, I was, honestly, I was, ex I was expecting this type of stuff, okay? But, um, don't worry about it. Do the right thing, okay? 
do what's right for you because even leaving a comic wrap up as hard as it can be, regardless of the zodiac, you will get what's deserved to you in the long run, okay? As long as you put yourself first and you make you your priority. All right, Aquarius, that just went really smooth. It's like hoppity, hoppity, hoppity. What are you guys in a rush? What are you in a rush? Aquarius, Aquarius. Okay, you got the you got the Knight of Swords, and you're trying to dominate something. You got the world, you got the world reverse. So you didn't close the door when it came to something, but the way you you might want to approach something right now is not good. Okay, um, you got the Two of Wands. This is talking to somebody, but when you talk to this person, it, it talks about you get so lost in each other, you get so wrapped up with how you guys feel about each other, you kind of forget about the outside world, and they're saying don't do that. Oh, you got more than I thought. Okay, so you got the Queen of Wands. This is, you know, somebody who's tempting. So this is why you get wrapped up in certain stuff. And then you got the Eight of Wands. So, and then the King of Swords. So it looks like my my Aquas want to um, message somebody. Okay, it looks like they want to message the Queen of Swords. Because you you guys are coming up as the Knight of Swords and the King of Swords. So it looks like you want to go towards Temptation. Um, but this Knight of Swords, you know, to me, a little arrogant, all right? Like, you're touching somebody with your foot. It's almost like this card to me is like, you like to be pleased first, you know? Like, you like to be in control of the situation. So I don't know how well that's going to work out for you since you're working with the Queen of Wands, because the Queen of Wands, you know, she's no joke either. You know, how about you touch me first? How about you please me? So, anything else? That's kind of the predicament you're in. It looks like you want to send a message. All right, so you got the Nive of Chalices, you know, another messenger. So, at night, when you're sitting there, I don't know if you're writing a letter, love letter, it's, it's thoughts, okay? But you're also thinking about the past, and, you know, you're clinging on to the past when you got somebody right in front of you. So I don't know if this is your past and it's tempting to you, but there's somebody right in front of you that you have feelings for that it looks like you're going to reach out to, you know, and at the bottom of the deck, we have the sun, something that can possibly grow, but you're hanging on to the past and you're worried about routine. So I'm not really sure what that's all about. So let's dig into it. Nikki, Nikki. I saw the world again. They're asking you to wrap something up and choose choose wisely. Whether it's two people or not, this is just saying, you know, choose wisely. Um, with this King of Swords, you know, how I was saying is it a bit arrogant and likes to be pleased first. You know, the sword is still down, but to me... There's somebody in the background that's making your decision. I don't know if it's your mother. It's somebody that's older. Because we have an older woman. And it's almost like, I don't know if she makes the decisions for you. But you you, you are awfully concerned about how she feels. Or this is you that just likes to play. And it, it's all about you. Okay? So that's two different scenarios. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Aquarius, Aquarius, Knight of Swords. You know, Knight of Swords, same, same two things, you know, rushing in to deliver a message, but messages like this suck, okay? No one wants to hear this type of message, so I don't know, you know, I think you're thinking about messages that you sent in the past, because you want to come back around, all right? You're deciding whether or not to get out of stormy water and to move move past all the conflict is what you're doing right now. Tell me about the world. Temperance, okay? Balance out, balancing all your energies, healing, okay? Balancing out, you know, the cups. And here's the Knight of, here's the Knight of Cups. So this is you definitely going towards this woman. Um, and you definitely want to come in charming. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands. You know, you got the moon with the high priestess with the king of pence. So to me, this is, you know, going towards the unknown. But to me, this is 
this is secret and you feel confident enough to do this, to offer this type of commitment, to offer what it is you want to offer. Um, but to me, this is saying you have to own up to some shit and I don't know what that is, but this is exactly what this is saying. Um, tell me about the high priestess. This is something that's hidden from this person. Okay. Um, will you invest time in this? Will you not invest time in this? Will, you know, you've been waiting, you've been holding on and waiting to go towards the unknown right here. Tell me about the moon. Yeah, see? You've been waiting. Okay, tell me about um, this King of Swords. This King of Swords, which is you guys. Alright, do I tell the truth? Do I not tell the truth? Because right now you're not talking. You're not owning up to your shit. Tell me about Five of Chalices. So to me, this is you clinging on to your past. Alright, yeah, I don't know if there was a third party or this is just, this is your past. You're not, you're not moving forward. Tell me about this Knight of Chalices. This is you having feelings for somebody. And this is the, this knight is this other knight, this page and this knight. You got feelings you want to go in and charm somebody, but you're still deciding whether or not to do it. You're still just, you're still deciding your path right here with the two of wands. But you are talking to this person with this two of wands, you know? So it's like, you're about to make that decision to go in and talk to this person. You know, but to you, it, it, it's pretty, um, it's pretty in, intense situation. So you're just weighing out your options right now. Okay. And you have the queen of swords. So I don't know if, and this is reverse. So I don't know if you're dealing with somebody that is just a wicked bitch right now. Um, But again, you got a countersuit. Tell me about this Queen of Wands. And it, it fell right over there where that Queen, that Wand is. The Queen of Wands. So I don't know if she has the strength or you have the strength to open up communication. It's one or the other. So you're kind of worried about where this one lies too. You know, where this one's thoughts are. All right. So I wish you guys the best. All right. At the bottom of this deck. Look at that. Ten of Pence at the bottom of this deck. You know, it's the sun. So it's something that can grow and be stable if you want that that reunion you got a soul search though okay you, either your heart's broken either they broke your heart or 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 you broke their heart okay but i see the fool under that too so obviously um this is not going to be an easy message or an easy conversation all right but watch your tongue watch your tongue all right i love you guys have a great day bye